All right, whoa, look at all these fuzzies starting to come off. Whoa, guys, look what we have here. Brand new LOL surprise fuzzy pets. It says, wash me, really? Fuzzy pets have seven surprises. Whoa, collar, shoes, water bottles, scoop. These things are gonna be so much fun to open and check out. I want a pet, I want a pet. The LOL dolls are pretty excited about opening these fuzzy pets. And I've got a full case here, wow. Hey, let's get started opening it. Okay, I've got my first fuzzy pet here. Let me see. So here again, I see where it says, wash me. LOL surprise fuzzy pet. Oh, it says makeover series. That's new. Checking around back. Here again, it shows me the seven different surprises. Looks like we've got a little mirror here, secret message, water bottle, scoop, harness, shoes, and then our pet, which looks like we can add water to and it'll do something special. Um, this shape is kind of interesting too. I wonder if it's supposed to be shaped like a shampoo bottle or something since you're supposed to wash them. Here we go, our peel away zipper here. And I get to pull back the first layer. Peels away easily. And I see this kind of almost checkerboard diamond design. This says, be fuzzy. <laughs> That's pretty cute. But I've gotta keep going. I wanna get in and see this pet. Someone is getting a new fun fuzzy pet to take home today. Oh wow, look at the color of this. Super fun, kind of pink and peachy, really pretty. I've just got this last layer to go. It says, get fuzzy with it. <laughs> That's pretty funny and my fuzz is so fly. All right, last layer to get into. And it does kind of look like a little shampoo bottle. See, it's got kind of the little top on it. See, oh, just twist and pop open. There we go, that's what the inside looks like. Let's see if I can get this out. Looks like a little guide. Let's go over some of the pets we have. Goo Goo, Mew Mew, Glitter Poodle, Yin Hoot, Shorty Kitty, Nay Majesty, The Great Ferret, oh that's cool. Here's Bunny Champ, Ice Barker, Stage Owl, Pup Swing, Jive and Cat, Go Go Birdie, Wild Waves, we've got Perfect Shapes, Oda Splatters, Kansas Canine, Batty Monkey, and Raccoon Stronaut. Whoa, pretty neat. And there's so many more coming too. Here's our little mirror. And then I've got these surprises in here. Quite a few bag surprises. And at the bottom of my container, I have this, which should be my little sandbox. But I'm gonna go ahead and start opening some of these surprise bags. There's our first one. Oh, it is our little water bottle or milk jug, milk carton. Oh, I see little paw prints on this one. What else do we have here? Here we go. Oh, this looks like it might be for your hair. Kind of a bandana. Definitely some paint splatter marks here. So much more to open. Let's see if I can get it to tear. What do we have here? Oh, it's our scoop for our little sandbox. And this bag has, oh, it's the chain to put on our canister, a little shampoo bottle, I guess, so that we can carry it around. Now I'd like to open up this little sandbox. I've just gotta peel off this plastic wrapping and then I can open it up. Ah, that is some super nice sand. I see a couple little paw prints in there. And here's my scoop. Looks like it's got a little swirly tail on it. Let me start digging out some of that sand. Really soft, super fun to play with and dig around in. Ooh, something's in here. I see it down at the bottom. Let's go ahead and dig it out. Such a beautiful little collar for our pet. Just wanna dig through, make sure there's nothing else. Nope, but you can take the sand out and put something inside if you want, or we can just use it to store our sand. There we go, we'll press that in there. And now there's a great place to store it. I can even go ahead and put it back at the bottom of my container. All right, I just wanna show you how these will go in. It'll pop in to these little holes on the side. Maybe I wanna keep my mirror in there, keep my scoop in there. I can go ahead, put that back on, 
and carry it around, almost like a little purse. Now it is time to see who we have here. Whoa, look at this fuzzy pet. That is so fuzzy. I can't even see what we have here. Really soft, let's see. You can kind of just brush the fuzzes off a little bit. Oh, but I've got to give you a little bath, I think. I'm gonna dip you down in this water. All right, whoa, look at all these fuzzies starting to come off. That is so incredible. I'm starting to see our little pet in here. A little bit more. <laughs> I see you, little pet. But you got fuzzies everywhere. So I'm thinking that probably a wider container would be better for doing this. Something that would be kind of like a bathtub. All right, I've brought in a bathtub here. And that way I can kind of get my hands in there and do a little scrubbing. Hi, I see you. <laughs> all those places that the fuzz still needs to come off. I don't want to leave any of those fuzzies on. I want to get you all cleaned up. What were you doing, you silly thing? Here is our pet. It's oh, the splatters. It's a little splatter skunk. <laughs> She's super cute. Look at her little green and orange paws. All the splatters there. And I can put this little collar around her. Let me see, get that on there. And her little arms move. Tail doesn't move, but the head does move. And she can squirt water. <laughs> Super fun. Oh my goodness, this hair is out of control and I don't know what to do. Hi, yeah, yeah. Huh? Who is that? Hi, yeah, yeah. Hey, are you my ode to splatters? <laughs> and you've got a special hairband for me. <laughs> okay, let's try it out. Wow, that's so much better. And now I can keep my hand under control while I, while I paint. Come on, guys, come on, let's go. Yay, new pet, come on. Ooh. Oh, it's so exciting to see Splatters get a new pet. I want one, I want one, let me see. Oh my, the others are really excited about seeing a pet for themselves, too. So let's go ahead and open another one. Let's see if we can get more pets out for our LOL friends. Going here, found our little message. It is bath time. Unwrap there. And let's keep going. So much more to see. Oh, this one is gold. Oh my goodness. Does this mean we've already got a gold super special fuzzy pet? I hope so. I just can't wait to find out. I've got to get this open. Because our other one was a peachy pink color. But this is definitely gold. Open, open. Ooh, looks the same inside. Got our guide, all our bag surprises, and a gold sandbox. Let's get these surprises open. What do we have here? Oh, it's our gold chain. And what else? A gold scoop. What could be in here? Um, oh, what's this? A little charm. It says, the great baby. Hmm. All right, still going. Um, gold wings. Those are pretty amazing. One more bag here. Well, another scoop. This is so interesting. I've got two scoops. A gold monkey, and this one looks like, I don't know, a squirrel or something, it's a little purple. Gold wings, but a purple book. Wow, I'm really excited to see what's in here, but first, I'm going to open up the sandbox. Yes, that's right, here we go. Sandbox opening, gold sand. Oh, purple, pink glittery sand. I think I'll go ahead and use this little monkey golden scoop. Oh, I already have something here, it looks like shoes. Let's keep digging, scooping out more. There's another shoe. Hmm, something purple in here. Wow, oh, a purple necklace. So shoes and a necklace? And are there only two shoes? Huh, so our animal may only have two feet for their two shoes. Time for the big reveal. What pet do we have in here? Whoa. What is going on? This is a fuzzy container. Hmm. All right, let's try to get the fuzzies off. 
I can also just open it. Let's see if the fuzzies come off of this. Soak it in the water. I don't know if these fuzzies come off. I need to see what's inside. <gasps> two pets. <gasps> this is the one that's special because I get two pets in here. <gasps> it's the great ferret. So pretty. And who's this over here? It's a batty monkey. You're too, too silly. Let's see how you like to have fun in color change. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Face and hands, ears, paws turn blue. Okay, light blue in the warm water, but in the cold water, dark blue. And let's check out the great ferret. All white still. Ooh, you've got a little blue tuxedo. <gasps> And a little kiss. <laughs> That's super cute. All right, batty monkey, you're gonna get a set of gold wings because you are a flying monkey. Let's see if I can get this other one on. It's a little tricky. All right, I think we've done it here. Yay, flying monkey. All right, he's mine, yay. He flew right into my arms. <laughs> what a cute little batty monkey. And our the great ferret gets a beautiful collar. This necklace of jewels. Oh, that's perfect for my beauty. I love you. I love you, little ferret. Come on, let's go. We have very important things to do. I just know more of you want a pet, so let's get to it. Feeling away. Who's ready for their pet? I know, all of you. And what do we have here? Another bath time message. Bath time is when we get all cleaned up. I'm ready to keep going. Peel away, peel away. Wait a minute, no way. We couldn't possibly have another gold one, could we? I mean, is gold a normal color? Or does it mean something special again? Two golds right away? I've never had something like that happen before. Does it mean we'll get two pets again? Ooh, that would be exciting. Only one way to find out. Let's get it open. Get all these surprise bags out. And our sandbox. Here we go with a gold chain. And what do we have here? Huh, an orange scoop. Not gold. What's next? <gasps> glittery pink. Wow, beautiful glittery pink scarf. And what will we find over here? Yeah, look at this little carton. Orange and pink glitter. Super beautiful. Now to open up the sandbox. What special thing will come inside? I don't know. More pink glitter, sand. Ooh, this one is like so soft. Looks like we have shoes here. And I think we have four pairs of shoes or actually just four shoes. We've got two orange and two green. Now I just really need to see what pet is in here. It's so fuzzy. Look at I see this pink glitter hair, so big and with two orange bows, and look at all this orange fuzz you're covered in. I've got to get you cleaned up. Into the water bath you go. <laughs> oh, there's still some pink fuzz in there from her little other friend. All right, I think our orange fuzz might start coming off. Let's give her a little rub. Get those face cleaned off. Just takes a bit of work. Here she is, all cleaned up. It's Glitter Poodle. What's wrong, Glitter Poodle? Are you nervous? Oh no, Glitter, Glitter Poodle. Did you have an accident? That's okay. Glitter Poodle, we have to get you dressed up with your scarf and your shoes. Two bright orange shoes and two bright yellow shoes. You're pretty beautiful. So many fun pets today. Huh. Hi, it's been tiring. It's a lot of work getting these pets already. I know what you mean. Maybe we should just take a break. Come on, let's go have some fun with these pets. Yeah, guys, come on, let's go. Hey, did you guys go see that movie yesterday? 
Oh yeah, it was so incredible, so much action and adventure. Yes, but I could have used maybe a princess in it or something. A princess, come on. Well, I can't help it if I like princesses. Yeah, I know, I couldn't take my eyes off of it though, right? So exciting. Oh no, but look at the time. Ah uh, yes, we better head off to work. I know I've got to get over there to the nursery school before the kids get here and go crazy. And I've got some super fun fashion things going on at my hair salon. All right, well, if you guys need a little snack, I'll be at my ice cream shop. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. Maybe we'll get together for lunch. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> uh, Baby in the Woods, is that you crying? No, it's not. Goody? No? <laughs> Who's crying? Who could that be? Hello? Hello? Somebody over there? Hi guys, it's just us. Sorry to bother you. <laughs> but, but why are you crying? We don't want you to cry. Oh, it's okay. It's just, um, see we have these jobs, you know, like you guys have jobs. Yeah, we love our jobs. <laughs> I know, we liked ours too, but they didn't need us anymore. Now we don't have jobs. Oh no, that does sound terrible. Yeah, we don't know what to do. We love working. Hmm. Are there any other things that you guys can do? Well, um, we do like working with food. Oh, food. You know, I might be able to find something for you. Really? Yeah, well, you know, I work in the ice cream business, so maybe I can help you out with that. Oh, that would just be fabulous. Okay, hey, give me a minute. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Oh, this is so exciting. We would just love new jobs. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Here's what I have. Whoa, what is all this? These are your new uniforms for your new jobs. Really? Yes, see, one of you can work at a super cute little bake shop. Mm-mm, they make cupcakes, yum. And, oh, somebody else can work at McDonald's. I love some McDonald's fries. <gasps> Wow, that does sound amazing. Oh, what do you think? Oh, I love it. Okay, all right, let's decide what we want. Um, Okay, I think we know. We're ready to go. Okay, okay, why don't you go ahead and get dressed and ready for your new job? All right, I will take the new job at the bake shop. Well, I think we're gonna need to get you out of this beekeeper's outfit then. That means boots off, and you don't need all these long sleeves to protect your arms anymore. Nope, that can come off. And these pants are super nice, but it doesn't work with your uniform for the bake shop. So we'll take that off and let's see what we do have here. Oh, it's a pretty all-in-one dress, but it kind of has this denim skirt bottom and this cute little sleeveless white top that says sweet and has a cupcake on it. Wow, it's so cute. I think this is definitely better than having to wear the beekeeper's outfit. Yes, well it was good for keeping you protected, but we don't need to protect you from cupcakes anymore. Except for maybe eating all of them. Just about have it, let's close it up in the back. But we are not done yet because when you work at a bake shop, you're going to need an apron. And how cute is this one? It has all different kinds of cupcakes on it. Yum, yum, yum. Now this apron goes around your waist to help protect that really nice skirt. And then we'll just attach it back here around your waist. And there you go. I'm all ready to go. Oh, thank you so much, so much. I just can't wait to get to my new job. Bye, see you guys later, bye. Well, I guess that means I get to work at McDonald's. Woohoo! What am I gonna wear? Let me see here. We'll start with your shorts and your top. So I'm afraid you're going to have to get rid of your old uniform. It was nice and looked pretty comfortable, but this one should be good too. These are some navy shorts, navy blue, that can just go on like this, and they come together in the back. And now to get your top on, the top is a yellow shirt with some red around the sleeves and around the collar. Let's go ahead and get your arms in there. Let's get it into this other sleeve. All right, I can go ahead and I think I can bring this together in the back. That is a perfect fit. I'll just fix this collar a little bit. Oh, but you are not done. You don't quite look ready for McDonald's yet. We've gotta get your apron on. There we have it. It's around your neck. 
And then we'll bring these straps, tie them around the back. Okay, we've got you all tied up. All right, now you look ready. You've even got some pockets on the front. And we don't wanna forget wearing your sneakers because you definitely don't want to fall or slip on something while you're working there. And you're all set. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank you, thank you girls for your help. Off to make some burgers. I guess that takes care of that. Off to the hair salon. Okay. <laughs> Please tell me that's you. Uh-uh. Nope, not me either. Who's crying now? Sorry to bother you guys, but our friend said you were able to help them. Um, yeah, I, I guess I was able to find them some jobs. Do you need some jobs with food? Oh, no, I'm afraid not with food. Oh, we like taking care of things like people and animals. Oh, I don't know if I can help you with that. Oh, but I can, because I like helping people too. I'm a nursery school teacher. Oh, that's so nice. Do you think there's something that we could do? Hmm, taking care of people or animals. Yeah, yeah, I know of something. <gasps> really? Yeah, okay, don't go anywhere, all right? No, we won't, we'll stay right here. I really hope she has something for us. I did it, I did it. I found something for you, for both of you. <gasps> this is so exciting. What do you have for me? Well, you would like working with animals, right? I sure would. How about working at a zoo? You could work with all kinds of animals. <gasps> that sounds wonderful. Well, here you go. This is gonna be your uniform. Go ahead and get dressed. All right, <laughs> she's still in her bathrobe. I guess she's gotten all clean and she's ready for her day. So we'll just get her out of that and then into these khaki shorts that is very much like what a zoo worker would wear. Something, it's okay if it gets kind of messy because you're working with animals and that's all right. And now for your top. Oh, look at this. A very soft, cool, comfortable shirt for working outside and things and a little animal footprint here. We can just go ahead and slide the shirt on over your hands, up the arms. There we go, and we'll close it up in the back. That works very well, and I think we're not done with you because your high heels are not gonna be so good for working with animals. Nope, so we'll go ahead and take those off. But what is good for working with animals is some nice brown lace-up boots like these. There we go. Outfit's pretty much complete, but you might need a couple other tools like how about some hay to feed some animals? We've got a water bowl here. And nope, already somebody you need to take care of. The little chick. Oh, come on, little chick. I've got you. What a great job. Um, What job am I going to be doing? I mean, is my fancy dress going to work out for it? I don't think so. You see, you're going to be a surgeon. A surgeon? Really? Yes, a surgeon sometimes helps fix people up. And it's a great thing. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. Okay, here's what you need. And we're right, a fancy dress just won't do for being a surgeon. So we'll take off the fancy dress and our surgeon is going to wear something called scrubs. So we'll start with the pants and I think we'll go ahead and take off these shoes. Cause I don't think our surgeon is going to wear red high heel shoes, but we do need to get the pants on. Here we go, see if I can just slide those on. Oh, a very nice fit. And then here's our scrub top. There we go. Just get those arms in there. We're just about all set, although our surgeon is going to need a few other things, like a stethoscope, and oh, of course, some very comfy shoes. You'll be walking around and standing a lot and you're going to need some comfortable shoes. These are nice white doctor shoes. Plus your stethoscope goes around your neck and let's not forget the chart for checking on patients. Wow, wow, I can't believe it. I'm a real surgeon. That's right, good job, now off you go. Right, off I go. Okay, there we have it, we helped out. Yeah, now I really gotta get to my ice cream shop. Oh, I can't even imagine what the kids are doing right now. I bet I have clients waiting for me over here. <laughs>
Oh, you don't have to cry about it. I'm not crying. I guess that means somebody else needs our help. Yep, we gotta stay to help. Hi guys, just us. Let me guess, he needs some help finding jobs. Oh, please, yes, please. Well, I think it might be my turn, but what kind of jobs do you want? I'm not so good with food or, you know, exactly helping people too much. That's okay. We're kind of like artists. We like to do artistic things, music, dance, painting, singing, all that kind of stuff. Well, that's actually perfect for me. I consider myself an artist because I do hair in super special fun ways. Oh yes, then you must be an artist like we are. That's right, and I'm gonna help you girls out. Hold tight, I'll be back. Ooh, I wonder what kind of artistic stuff we'll be able to do. I am back, and I totally found you some artistic stuff to do. <gasps> yay, yay, tell us all about it. Okay, I'm gonna start with you. You are going to be a ballerina. <gasps> a ballerina on stage dancing ballet? That's right, what do you think? I love it, I love it. Although my outfit really isn't for a ballerina. That's why I brought you stuff. Oh, how perfect. All right, ballerina, let's get you into some ballet clothes. We will just undo the outfit you've got on now. It is lovely, but it won't exactly work for a ballerina. Good news is we've got something you can use. Oh, look at this ballerina's bag. Ah, here we go, a black leotard. That is definitely the kind of thing that a ballerina would wear. We just have to put legs through here, slide it up. All right, we've got the straps around your hands. Leotards can be kind of tight sometimes and hard to get on, but we'll just stick with it. Just about have it. There we go, leotard is ready. Now, hmm, let's see. <gasps> we've got our long ballet skirt, and then we also have a little wrap that we can put around for going to ballet class, but I think we'll stick that in our ballet bag for later. And for now, we'll go ahead and put on this beautiful ballerina skirt. There we go. And it even has a beautiful little bow on it. Oh, how pretty. Now we are not done making you a ballerina. I don't have ballet shoes, but you can wear these till you get some. These are some beautiful pink heels that go so well with the skirt. And just slip on the other one. <laughs> Those are beautiful. And now let's put on a tiara. <laughs> you look so pretty. All right, I've got my bag. See you guys, thanks again. Hi, um, here I am. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm kind of missing part of my arm. That's okay to do this next artistic job you just need a good singing voice. You're gonna be the singer in a rock band. <gasps> I can totally do that. Yes, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so glad we found you guys today. Let me rock out. Well, we've gotta get you out of this outfit because it's not very rock and roll. There it goes. Let's check out your rock and roll outfit. All right, look at this black and red with opposite heart colors and the mesh. This is gonna look amazing on you. And the shirt fits very nicely. Let's get your rock and roll hair out of the way. And now, cool, look at this skirt with matching red, black, white. I think this is gonna be perfect for a rock and roll singer. And even your red shoes match with it. One last accessory. How about some headphones to listening and rocking out to music? So awesome, guys. Hey, come to my next concert, okay? Well, it felt really good to help them out. Yeah, you don't hear anyone else crying, though, do you? Uh-uh. Well, maybe just my students in the nursery school. I really gotta go, guys. Bye. Bye. See you guys later. And who do we have in here? Oh, <gasps> yeah. <sighs> What in the world is going on here? Hello? Hello? Are you still sleeping? Are you kidding me? Look at this mess. <gasps> wake up, wake up, I say. Hello? Hello? I can't believe you're still sleeping. Oh, get these covers off. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> what is the matter? Why are you waking me up? Are you kidding? I can't believe you're still sleeping. I've 
already been to work at the veterinary clinic and everything. You said you would clean up this mess, and you haven't. Uh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going. Uh. You didn't even hurt yourself, because there's a pile of clothes. See? It's not a bad thing. Uh, I'm out of here. No, don't leave. Come on. I am sorry. I know there's a big mess here. Oh, I'm just not very organized. I don't know where to put all my things. Oh, come back, come back. I'm coming. Oh, good. Okay, I I'm trying to clean up, I promise. See, look, the first thing I'm doing is making my bed. Doesn't that look nice? I'm doing the right thing. Yes, that is great. I came back because I actually have something for you. R really? Is it more clothes? Uh, no, it's not more clothes. It's a place to put your clothes. Huh? Oh, like a dresser or something? Even better. <gasps> Ooh, even better. I can't imagine. Something better would be a closet, but I don't think you could have a closet. Hmm, then what's this? What do you think? I got you a closet. This is amazing. Oh, I will totally keep all my clothes organized and everything, I promise.